Hey guys, I'm Mark. Welcome to my dining room. Today I'm going to tear out all of these built-in cabinets and tear down the wall behind it so we can put in a header and have a much bigger, more open room. So here are some of the obligatory before shots that you have to show before undertaking a project like this one. My main reason for wanting to do this renovation is this doorway right here. This small opening is a huge choke point in our house. It divides our main floor in half, and for some reason when people are over, we always gather in our terrible kitchen and somebody leans in this doorway, preventing access to half of our house. When we pulled up the carpet last summer to get at the original hardwood floors underneath, we saw this glorious remnant of shag carpet and figured out there actually used to be a doorway into the dining room through the hallway. Gotta love the 70s. Lucky for us, they left a bunch of it under our fireplace too. My wife's parents were in town for the holidays, and her dad, Matt, has been a contractor for over 30 years. Whenever he visits, he likes to help us out with house projects, so I made sure to have this doozy lined up for his Christmas vacation. Matt, are you prepared to be internet famous? <laughs> no. <laughs> so as you can see with the way this video is starting out, I had every intention of running this project the way I do most of my videos, with a cohesive intro and an informative middle section, and then a brief wrap-up. But that's not the way it turned out. You see, my father-in-law is a man that likes to get stuff done. And while I was trying to film and give updates and maybe try to be a little bit artistic, I was running the risk of making him do all of the real labor while I just screwed around with a camera. And that is a very tasty recipe that leads to a big plate full of my help walking out the door. So, if you want to see some construction and some demolition and maybe a few good tips along the way, but definitely some plot holes, stick around and watch the mess. We knocked out this hole across the bottom of the drywall just to make sure that there weren't any pipes or wires hiding in the wall. Finding only ancient parchment, we raged on. It's gonna make a huge difference. Oh, no kidding. Huh? That's outstanding. <laughs> this house is gonna seem weird for a while. <laughs> right. Oh, go right out there. Yeah, just go right out this one. Sure. Before we cut through the studs and took out this last section of the load-bearing wall, we put in some braces just to make sure the ceiling stayed where it was supposed to. Dunzo. Burped. And then let's, let's 
set the bottom in there, and then we can tip it and then tip it down here. Okay. Y'all cool? Yep. Good. This one's gonna be a little heavy. Yeah. Ha, I'm telling you, that's a bit of a difference. Ain't it gonna be so nice? Oh, don't run from the camera. You're already in this. So we kind of got into the groove here and I forgot to run the camera for a little bit, but we cut the two by tens to length to get in between the studs and got them put up there, screwed them to the joist above, screwed them to each other in a sort of five of diamonds pattern across this. And then we put these cripples in underneath the side. I'm not sure if that's the technical term. That's just what Matt keeps calling them. Um, so <clears throat> we put these studs in on the side underneath that will actually hold them up from the bottom. So that makes a really, really strong joint there. concerned you weren't gonna like it at all. <laughs> said we should stop, she's not gonna like this. <laughs> we should stop. A small right. hole in right. the right. wall right. is better than a big hole right. in the wall. <laughs> nice, oh yeah. my gosh, this is crazy. Well that sure made a big difference, didn't it? It made a big difference, yes. Yes. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? Yes. Were you surprised when you got home? Yes. How about you? I was so surprised. I think I was um, amazed that the opening was so big, first of all, when I came around the corner. Um, then I noticed the hardwood floors that are here, which was very exciting to me. And then as I was peeking around the corner, I saw that Mark had knocked out all of the spindles, and that really made a big difference to make right. this whole area feel so much larger. There's a lot left to do, but it's made a huge difference. Big improvement. Lost a little bit of storage, but I think the functionality of the house is a lot better now. It is, yep. The flow is so much nicer, and the boys have really loved uh, being able to chase around the stairs. Right. Don't worry, I put up a safety gate. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of work left to do. Um, Mark will end up taking down the paneling, fixing drywall, probably replacing most of the drywall, because we 
Uh, we found that when we take down the paneling, it was glued in many places, in most places, and so um, we'll probably have to replace that drywall. So if you'd like to see that project, go ahead and let us know, and Mark can film that for another video. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. You gonna say bye? Bye. You know, you're bashful. It's a camera. It's not people. You gonna wave? <laughs> you gonna go play? Is that it? Yeah. Get out of here. Mm -hmm.